Yeah, right? let, let me ask you a question. What yes. do you think or how do you, yeah, what do you think about evolution? What do you think about evolution? So yeah. our perspective of me personally or as Muslims in general? As a Muslim or every, yeah, the, yeah. as you I'll wish. You, me the, the, me, yeah. I completely reject the idea of evolution, me personally. Me. Yeah. Based on my research, I completely uh, deny the idea of evolution. I've seen the, the amount of fraud that they play and the games that they play to try to justify theory of evolution scientifically. In their own magazines, they will claim lies that the same magazine would refute, right? That's, so, that's what I'm going to say, right? So this is my perspective, my personal perspective when it comes to the theory of evolution. But, but Muslims, some Muslims, what they try to do, first they say the Quran and Hadith, they do not have anything clear about animals, right? Not evolving, animals, not human beings, right? And then you have some people who even try to make uh, an explanation for human beings here and there, right? Okay. No, I don't agree with those people. But I'm telling you, some people do try to reconcile between certain things in the theory of evolution. But, um, what I'm trying to say basically is it's not like you have to re whole, whole say reject evolution to be honest. You know what I'm trying to say to you, right? Yeah. But my position is... Yeah, like, yeah I'm, I'm talking to you, so let, let's go yeah. with your position. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's my position. Yeah. Right? I wholes wholesale reject it based on my, on my research, based on looking at uh, certain people who made... Uh, uh, like uh, different series is explaining the evidences, right? So, like for example, so, so so let's say you you see I don't know 30 different uh, breeds of dogs. Do you think that all of those breeds came from the yeah of, from, from the creation or a human? That's hunt? not necessarily what evolution is. No, but like, it's like speciation or look. Yeah. Same for example, two different species mating with one or two close close species mating with one another producing another species. No one is rejecting that it can be observable. Like so so, so we can modify a, a species. Whole donkey mold, right? A whole sort of dog, a, a donkey have an intercourse and yeah. producing a mold. That's yeah. an observable thing that no one rejects. Okay. Right? But the point we're making is evolution does not it's not about the idea of the same species, it's the idea of one species Yeah, 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 indeed, indeed, yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. This, this oh, is the problem. Yeah, I mean yeah, that's the extreme. Initially, yeah. the evolution means that you have one species and it starts to transition and you have a deviation yeah, no, no, until it creates you have a, a fish, a, right? That starts walking. And then you yeah, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have all of the I mean, creation you, today. Yeah, yeah. You, so you start from one species and yes. it slowly starts to transition no, no, until it you becomes start a, from a cell. Yeah. But yeah, where yeah, does yeah, it come a, from? How yeah, does it it's come from? Uh, yeah, you know the scientific answer? I watched a few documentaries and it's, yeah, it's, it's not... It's I don't know. <laughs> That's it. It's I mean, like, no, it's, it's not... It's, 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 it's I don't know. It's, 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 it's I don't know. So, yeah. They say I don't know. Okay, but... They yeah. say, look, look, I'll tell you yeah. what they say. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. say thousands of years, yeah. it was a sea, and a thunder hit the sea, and we happened to produce a cell, right? And that cell happened to butterfly and become a fish, and but a fish I, happened. My thing is, uh, I'm okay with saying I don't know or we don't know, because yes. I mean, these are very no, complex no, no, answers. No, no, no. Or, or is base, it we don't know yet? Base, no, no, no. So basis, to have a theory, you have to explain the beginning of the theory. You cannot play yeah. this game. I cannot look. Because they don't say I don't know in so many things which they do not know. They claim, okay, there was something called the Homo erectus. Even though they have no evidence for the Homo erectus. Zero. They, what they do, they bring different bones from different animals, from different yeah. And they say, we do not know, they could be bonds from different things, and they make, put certain bonds together, and then they draw a picture. And they yeah, say, okay, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the Homo, and they say, oh, this was the Homo erectus. And the Homo erectus was walking here, and they made the non terminals, right? And they, come on, how do you know this science is there? <laughs> Look, this whole, this is the whole theory. Well, I'm telling you, this is what the theory of evolution is. Yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of hocus pocus. Look for similar types of genes. They discard a huge number of genes that are not in line. In the study, they say to you, in the study, in the paper, mm. we discarded X amount of genes. That's that's why they did the same experiment with the banana, 50% or 60%. Just depends on which collection do you use and which method do you use to to say this gene is in exact correlation with this gene. Right? Yeah. So because they use different ways and they ignore so much of the genes that are not not in, in correlation, they discard it completely. They come to you with the slide. That, oh, it's 99%. Or not, by the way, 199, 198. Yeah, I mean, I, I pulled the number yeah. out of my head yes, because not the, yeah. no, no, but it's still one says 98, yeah. one says 99. Right? Okay. It's not your problem. Okay. It's their problem, right? Why do they do this? Why they have to try to convince a person like you or the layman? Look, we have evidence. The genes are the evidence. The fossil record is the evidence. You look at the fossil record. They say to you, no, oh, but I mean, when I see, I, I see bears. Let's say I see if, if, uh, five different species of bears. You have like you know, the grizzly, the polar, the black bear. I don't know. Um, to me, they look very, very much the That's same. And it, 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 it wouldn't be crazy to think that they come from the I same place. You, it's yeah. very simple, and it's very, it is very. It, 
it would make sense to come from the same they come from the same creator when you come when you look at iPhone look, look when you look at iPhone different models of iPhone they all look alike they come from the same manufacturer right? so there's no problem that they, that they come from different they come from the same manufacturer but let me even answer you what you call now is called homology homology has been debunked homology is that the similarities are due to common ancestors it's what users said that's the term for it it's yeah. term, okay, okay, right? okay. it's called homology homology has been debunked why? there are many reasons for it for example saber tooth tiger you can google it saber tooth tiger is a tiger with saber tooth oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The it one does from not the come ISIS. from any tiger ancestry according to, to them the theory right. so similarities are not due to common ancestry anyways and that's why when you open their books they say similarities are due to common ancestry they say the human being is the common ancestor of a horse and a, and a, and a, and a mouse what is the homology yeah, yeah. Where is the, the, the similarity? You know, I mean, it, where, is, it, it, where is the similarity between me and a mouse? You know. Well, if you think about it, I mean, you have two eyes, you have a mouth, you have a, the, a, a stomach. You look like a mouse. I think that I say Ours. that. I'm saying that we have many similarities to them. Yeah, I mean. No, no, no. We are very different as well. Yeah, yeah, but uh, no, I mean, it's just because we have the same what we call attributes. Yeah, yeah, you but know, I, like hands, no. My point is, if you are, I don't know, a, 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 an alien from another universe, and I come here, or just I see these two things, and both of them have. Four, uh, yeah, four, four limbs, a mouth, two eyes. Uh, yeah, we're different, the horse, but at the same the horse, time, the, they look completely different. Right? No, no, we are completely. But at the same time, don't, don't you? Th I mean, we have a nose, we have ears, we have eyes. You yeah, say that's insane. No problem. But just, just because you have the, this is not what, 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 what homology is. What you were using, homology is that there is similarities in the, uh, the structure. Yeah, I think that yeah, there are different levels of, uh, of that's similarities. Why were, that's why you were saying different tigers because they look the same, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very close. Yeah. But I'm I saying mean, there are different levels. Exactly, I'm using the same argument against you. I'm saying if this was the case, then why are they saying we come with the same common ancestor with a, a, rat, a mouse and a rat a, 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 a horse? I mean, we well, have to be consistent. Ultimately, I think if we all come from one cell, I think that yeah, you, you will sure. you will see your that's start why much. When we go back, we have no answer for the cell, where the cell came from. Now, look, the yeah. point is any evidence you bring before now, I'll, I'll debunk it. Let's say one by one, right? Because I've done the research, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, I know, I I'm know. I'm not I just know. saying that. Like, look, for example, they use the, the whale. You say the whale, the whale, they have pills. They have pelvis. Pelvis is a bone in the end of the whale, right? They say these bo two bones were two legs, actually, and it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know. Uh, and this, we will open books like Biology by Evans and Johnson, 2017 edition, 2018. This is by professor, by academics. It's been, and we have a research 50 years ago saying that the pelvis of the whale are not vestigial organs. You know what vestigial, vestigial organs are? The organs that used to be useful and not yeah, yeah. anymore, yeah. They say they're not vestigial organs, they're very useful, they use it for mating, they use it for different functions. So look, they lie to you even on their own research. They say, you look, it's useful. Okay. okay, but let me write in 2017, it's not useful. Point is, they want to convince someone like you and many other people in the West. There's a documentary on that, it's called The Expelled. They expelled. You will see people expelled from their jobs. Professor Kadims excommunicated. Just right. because they deny evolution or, they, or deny any God or put God in the research, they excommunicate them. See, these people, God is against science according to them, right? So if you mention this, yeah. go, go away, you're not an academic, right? I'm giving you, uh, uh, this yeah. documentary has the name of the researchers have them it's that got expelled because uh, yeah and them saying themselves professors they would say to you watch it right uh, I will watch. what I'm saying to you is the reason I, ex I reject it wholesale is because every single evidence that they provide I've looked at and I've seen a refutation okay one by one <laughs> you know? okay. so if there is no evidence then why would they even look at this study as something that would make any sense and why would they try so hard to go against this uh, to, uh, why yeah why? why you've got someone like Richard Dawkins which is one of the biggest propagators for this Theory. In the West, it's one of the people who revived this theory in the West. Oh, which theory? The evolution or yeah, Darwinian oh, okay. evolution? Okay. Darwin you don't know Richard Dawkins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, Richard Dawkins. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Richard I didn't. Okay. Yeah. Richard is very well known, right? Yeah, yeah. Richard Dawkins is one of the four horsemen of atheism on this. Right. He came. There's a video of him recording on YouTube. You can find it. He says evolution does not disprove God. Evolution does not disprove. God. But he says, but laymen like you think it does. Unlike me, I'm a layman as well. Layman in biology is saying, right? Think it does. I don't think that because I've done my research. But laymen, they think evolution disproves God because it disproves Adam and all of that. And all. Well, now we have an answer for the argument. So he says, all I have to do is to convince the layman that evolution is true and they will leave God. So when you have this group of people, atheists, who call 
lead scientists and brought up magazines and they're all saying this nonsense, right? Trying to convince the people with the religion with any cause because they don't want people to believe in God. There is, I can build this case. But, but why not? Why, what, do, why, what is there to win for them? Okay, first, they're atheists. They, dis they despise religion completely. For whatever reason, maybe their own life, their own experience, right? They were Christian. He doesn't know anything about Islam. Anyways. Because he wrote the recent, most recent book he wrote. He refuted Christianity. He doesn't never refuse Islam because he knows nothing about it. He generalized all religions false because they refuted Christianity. Yeah. Come on, what are you talking about, right? Point is, they have their own reasons for it. But in the West, generally, even, even the governments don't want people to become more religious. Right? Why? The, the more moral you are, the more you will you'll be healthy in your life, the more you'll be thinking, the more you'll, go, you'll maybe go against the system, the more you unite. So the more stupid you are, the more drugs that you yeah, take, yeah, the more, uh, yeah, more they're easier to control. You, yeah. you watch. It's easier to control, right? So there are many reasons I can give you, but the point is, the fact is what I'm telling you is that these things I'm giving you are in those science magazines that they claim is proven evolution. The same science magazines are disproving evolution by disproving their evidence. But don't you think also that you're saying that yeah, it's a reason for them to control them, but religion isn't religion also another way to control people according to you? That's the point. It will be if it's not true. So I've looked at the evidence for evolution and denied it based on that. What you have to do is to look at the evidence for religion. If there is no evidence for religion, then I would agree with you. Okay, it's another way to control the people. Because I'm trying to say, right? But that's why Islam can never be a way to control the people because it does not give the authority to the government, specific government or this or that, right? What it does is it focuses mainly on your life, it focuses mainly on you as a human being. Of course, you have to obey the, the rules I mean, of people, so you yeah, don't have that, That's the same for every religion almost, no? Yeah. That they focus on the, on the, on the, oh yeah, on the individuals yeah. themselves. Yeah, yes, yes. But that's what I'm saying to you. Is it would not be really a way to control the people if it's just about you focusing on embittering your life. Yeah, that's what they say at the beginning, but then I think it, 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 it... So you have to go into the religion, right? So coming back now to, the, to Islam and the evidence is proper, because we moved into evolution, yeah, I believe yeah. that we, we dealt with that, all right? Okay. <laughs> give, give you more, more uh, I'll give you a nice playlist that you watch on evolution, the bunking one by one if you want to see it as well, right? Now, so Prophet Muhammad speaking about the future, right? Let me give you a few, three or four, or, or let's say around that, of predictions that were very specific. Like for example, Prophet Muhammad when he was... Let me start with this before I give you those, those ones I'm saying about. Okay. Prophet Muhammad named the countries that will become Muslim. Name Name which countries? The countries that Islam will enter. Okay. See, Islam is will enter to Egypt, Islam will enter to, to uh, Syria, Lebanon, Islam will enter to Jordan, Constantinople, uh, Constantinople, which is Turkey, India, Pakistan. He said Islam will reach there. And he said you will overcome the Roman and Persian Empire. And how, how do you find to enter? One thing is to enter, I mean, uh, no, no, Islam in order you to... take over that. You okay. When you will get that country, right? Okay. And he said you will overcome the Roman and Persian Empire. And this is what happened in history. Now, when he was saying that... Yeah, the Roman Empire was at its biggest. Yeah, the Eastern Roman, Roman Empire. The Eastern Roman Empire. And the assassin on the Byzantine and the Byzantine at that time, right? And we overcame them, both of them, right? And the point is, Prophet Muhammad, when he was saying that, that day he said that he was in a battle. He was outnumbered three to one. He was building a trench because the, they were coming to attack in three to one. The Jews, he had a treaty. They were, back, they were behind him in the city. They betrayed him. And he didn't know if they were going to kill the people in the city. And the 10,000 people coming to kill them three to one. And he, when they were building a trench, they came across a huge massive rock. So they couldn't crash it, couldn't destroy it. So they brought the Prophet So he came and, and when he was hitting, he hit the first one and he said, I see Persia, I see his palaces, and Islam will hit He's saying, right? Now, in that situation, you don't even know you're going to live tomorrow now. Now, today, look at the map east and west, Islam exactly spreading in, in these areas, right? Also, Prophet Muhammad, when he was leaving Mecca and going to Medina because they were trying to kill him, the Meccan Arabs, they sent a uh, bounty hunter. Bounty hunter is called Suraq ibn Malik. Bounty hunter. They said will give you 100 camels, like millions now, right? If you bring us Pro uh, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, I should say, right? He went after the Prophet, I should say. Point is, he came to the, close to the Prophet, his, his horse kept sinking in the sand and he fell. So he realized there was something supernatural about him. So he said, I give you peace, right? Then Prophet Muhammad said to him, this is, this is the point I'm trying to make, right? Then Prophet Muhammad said to him, would you leave us and you will hold the bracelets of the Persian king in your hand? 
You know, the Persian king was the most powerful man on earth at the time. A man who's fleeing, traveling from Mecca to Medina, he doesn't know if he's going to live or not. The person coming to kill him. He's, he's promising him, the, yeah. He's promising him the, 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 the bracelets of the most powerful man. Now, how many things can go wrong with that prediction? He could die, he became a Muslim, he could die in battles. He, he could get the disease and die. The Muslims could not take over the Persian, which is the most biggest hurdle in this story, which is to take over the Persian Empire and to take over the bracelets to begin with, right? So, so this, how many people were present in, in that particular scene? Yeah, so is it? we have something now, when you talk about history now, yeah. coming to history, this is what you're trying to talk about, right? We have the highest level of authentication when it comes to historical account. Why? Why? Because Muslims, you know, Western history, this is how it works. You find something, you see, you find the letter in a specific period. And you generally know that there was a king in that period called something. You find that literally has a signature of the same name, same name of the king. It agrees, the information agrees roughly with the political situation. They accept that to be history. Right? Muslims. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a, a no, historian, no, but this is how, how Western okay. history works, right? Okay. Yeah. This is how Western history works. How does Muslim history work? We have all of that. But we have a person who was there seeing the letter being written down. We have his name, we have his biography, and every information you need to know about him. Now, the per that person transmitted information to another person all the way back to today. We have every single yeah, person yeah, in the yeah. chain. We know they meet each other. We know the information about them. This is our type of history. So if someone were to reject this history, which is Islamic history, he literally has to reject every other type of history in the West because no history even paramounts to the Islamic method of authentication. And for, 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 for this specific event that you mentioned, uh, was there were there witnesses? Yeah, or? Umar al Khattab, Abu Bakr Siddiq, and the person himself, Suraq ibn Malik, right? With multiple witnesses, right? This narration comes from different people, right? And and this happened at the time of Umar ibn Khattab, who was the third caliphate of Islam. Who is there? Third caliphate of Islam. Who is the caliphate? So, uh, sorry, uh, second caliphate of Islam. So Prophet Muhammad died. Right? First person who took the leadership is called the caliphate. Ah, okay, okay. It's Abu Bakr. Then whom? Then Umar. At the time of Umar, when they took over Persian Empire, right? He gave the bracelets in his hand because the, this was well known in the okay. community. That's why other people reported it because it was well known. Now imagine if you were alive, would you gamble the whole? Because look, every claim you make, literally, if it's this proven the religion is false and every claim you make people will say because everyone believes you're the messenger of God oh the messenger told me this or I heard the messenger say this about that person so anything that you say is yeah. literally the whole religion is the same right so that happened exactly at the time of, of Umar al Khattab and he heard the bracelets of the Persian king the most powerful man on earth at, the, at that time right also Prophet Muhammad made a prediction about the Romans and the Persians at 600 uh, 618, 19, or 20. It's in that range, right? The Surah Room, Surah Room was revealed. Surah Room is chapter 30 of the Quran. It was revealed before Prophet went to Medina. The Prophet went to Medina in 622. I will remember the dates, right? Let's say 618. Yeah. Uh, uh, 618, the prophecy was made. 622, the Prophet traveled to Medina. Now, what happened is when the Prophet was in Mecca in 618 and 619, 620, the Persian Empire defeated the Roman Empire. It took over Antioch, it took over Damascus, it took over Jerusalem, which was it was the Christian yeah. Empire, it was the holy city of the Roman Empire. Right? They completely decimated the Roman Empire. If you look at any historian, this is this is this was the end of the Roman Empire. If you will to, to look, the Persian king sent a letter to the Roman king calling him a dog and you come here like this. Yeah. It was completely the decimation, right? Now, what happened is the people at the politics of Mecca they used to tease the Muslims because the Roman Empire was, was people of scripture and Muslims were people of the Persian Empire were politics, so they said their politics like us, they're defeating you, and they used to mock the Muslims. Right? Yeah. So the Bedouin Arabs mock the Muslims because other politics are defeating people of the book, right? So then Allah revealed in the Quran that those Romans that you see are defeated, they will come back and they will defeat the Persians. In three to nine years, look at the date. It says in three to nine years. Wow, that's, in three uh, to nine, you know the date that you're talking about the date, right? In three to nine years. But by the way, the, the previous one was also date specific because it was the life of that individual. So his life could die anytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also date specific, right? So he said in three to nine years, right? And it will be in a nearby land. The Romans will defeat the Persian. What happened is the Romans they started the victory in the year the Prophet traveled to Medina. 622 is the beginning of coming back. He defeated the Persians in the Red Sea, just next to Saudi Arabia, the nearby land. Right? He defeated them by 624. 
they, they went into the heart of the Persian Empire, they defeated the, the, the Persian, they went to the heart of the Persian Empire, and they destroyed the Holy Temple. Right? And then, so 624 here, seven years. From the time of the prophecy, let's say, yeah, yeah, is when the, the Romans defeated the Persians. And then, you can even say nine years, going all the way back to 627, when, uh, or 626 and 627, when the Persians were now fighting back, trying to, again, even though they were defeated, but they were still trying to fight. One last chance, and then they were defeated again. Right? So, now, would he possibly know this information? No. And this is, look, it was the, the two biggest empires of the time. Yeah, 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 it's uh, crazy right? to think that we yeah, had a And Prophet Muhammad said, for example, I'll give you the last one, right? Prophet Muhammad said, and there are many more, right? There's many more, right? Prophet Muhammad said... No, no, let, let me ask you, okay, before you go to this one, yes, because yes. I don't want to keep you for no problem, forever. No, 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 it's okay. It's, I'm, uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Is there any other yeah, predictions besides, let's say, the, the Judgment Day that is that still hasn't uh, yes, occurred? Yes, yes, there are. Like, a, a big prediction, let's say, uh, that is there. I'll give you one. Okay. I'll give you one. Okay. For example, there's Euphrates, the river Euphrates. Prophet Muhammad says the river Euphrates will dry up. And yeah, yeah, I, I've heard about this one. It is that now people are saying that it's starting to dry up. It is starting or... to dry up. It's, it is starting to dry up. In reality, it is starting to dry up. Yeah. Right? But the, it, is, it's, it doesn't only say it will dry up, it says it will dry up and it will be a mountain of gold under it and people will fight over it. So it still didn't happen, right? But this is in the process of happening, right? This is one example of the things that Prophet Muhammad said, right? And why aren't, aren't Muslims going crazy trying to find, uh, looking for, for gold or uh, oil or because whatever it is? Because it's not a praiseworthy thing, anyways. The, the no? Islamically, it's not praiseworthy to uh, to be materialistic and to only care about the worldly treasures. And the, pro the hadith says that they will kill each other for it. So, the, and this is not something which is good at all, you know? So, okay. so it's not something which Muslims should be going and doing, right? Still, and the river is big. It's not a small river. Still, have to wait for it to dry up. And then you will see people looking. I'm sure you will see Muslims looking. There's no doubt, but it has to dry up first, right? This is one example, which is a good question to ask because it shows that it's not just we have the things that benefit us with things that happen and we hide the other things. No, but even things that didn't happen are there, right? It shows that Muslims are very meticulous and many of these predictions did not happen until recently and they will stay in our books. And what is there that still hasn't taken place? Because this one you are telling me, but it's now starting to happen. Is there anything yeah, and, and like... Uh, prophet, there is a narration of the Prophet so he said that people will be literally they will communicate with Sibah. Uh, Sibah, or in this understanding, uh, it's, it's wild animals, something like a lion, something like a wolf. We'll be able to communicate with them. That's, a, that's another that's prediction another that didn't happen, right? I can give you more, but I'm telling you, there are okay, ones, no, okay, there okay, are okay, ones okay. that did it, right? So, which is interesting to, to know because yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, have that's an insight to uh, the future, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. In so. a way, right? So, this is not the only evidence, by the way. There are different types of evidences as well. Like the Quran talking about the physical world. It talks about how uh, life is from water. And we know all everything biologically is from water, but the cells are 60 to 70 percent water, right? Quran talks about embryology and the baby growing up, every stage by stage. Yeah. Professor Keith Moore, a Christian, said that it has to be from God, right? He's a Christian. But he said the information here is the same information I see with the, with the telescope. But 1,400 years ago, how would he know about this, right? And you have, for example, the Quran talking about ancient history, things that are not there and were not was not there in the scriptures of the Jews and the Christians. For, the, for example, the Quran claims that Pharaoh claimed to be God, the Pharaoh at the time of Moses. Mm -hmm. We know at the Pharaoh at the time of Moses was Ramses II. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'm giving you over. over oh, I trust you. I mean, I don't know any of this. Yeah, but, over, uh, over, uh, over <laughs> information. But, yeah. Ramses II was the Pharaoh at the time of Moses, right? According to most historians. And today in Egypt, we discovered in the temple of Abu Simbel, it was buried, we discovered in the temple of Abu, of Abu Simbel, this is the name of the temple, right? Abu Simbel, yeah? We discovered that Horus and Set, which two Egyptian gods, yeah. let them walk by first. <laughs> Make a light. Maybe they are interested, no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Horus and Set, which are two Egyptian gods, they're given a crown of divinity to Ramses II. Right? And he was crowned to be God, literally. And the Quran claimed that he claims to be God. The Bible didn't claim that. Yes, yes. Take one. Take one. Be careful with it, yeah? Thank you. So how how would you even know this information when we couldn't read the heliographics until we discovered the Rosetta Stone? Right? In 1719, right? We couldn't even know what the Egyptians believed. And yeah. this was not in the scriptures of the people of the book. And many examples like that I can give, right? I don't want to be too long. No, right? I'll give you a few videos that has the information I was talking about, right? Then you can look at it, research it, and all of that. This is 
a good channel. It's called uh, Many Profits One Message. Yeah? It has a good video about the predictions of the future. Right? Uh, let me just subscribe, maybe. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'll try to put it for you. It's not my channel, yeah? So if I'm not subscribing for myself. Don't worry. <laughs> Look, uh, let me just go to the... Yeah. Uh, okay. The Quran Secrets of Babylon. You can watch this one. Right? Mind blowing. So, what they say is this one mind blowing prophecies of Prophet Muhammad. It will have references as well, right? And there was something in Egypt, the Quran and, and ancient Egypt, right? Secrets, Quran and secrets of Egypt, right? Watch these ones, it will give you references. And then let me give you one thing about evolution, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Go for it. Yes. Okay, this is uh, Dr. Iyad Quraibi. He's got a beautiful channel here, right? Yeah, you can subscribe. Yeah, I yeah. will. So I will. Yeah. There's videos. Look at the videos that talk about evolution, right? It's not. He has a big series. It's not all translated yet, but many of uh, episodes are translated. Look at this episode. I think even the one about the genome, 99%, because you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's translated. Okay, we'll there, right? I will. So, after doing your research, if this information is true, would you agree that that is reasonable to assume? And this is some of the or reason, reasonable to say, sorry. Yeah. That this is from the creator, or it would make sense for someone to. It would be enough for me to think and, uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, keep going. Uh, yeah. Okay, but you have to have a, wipes around. You have to have a, 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 a place in which you say. A threshold. Now, yeah, this is now the point, right? Yeah. So I would I advise you to ponder on that. Because sometimes Satan will just make you take more and more time for no reason, right? Mm -hmm. If if there is enough evidence or, or enough to say that he could not have known this information, it would make it would make sense. To accept. Indeed, yeah, I, I think that's the threshold. Like. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it's some, sometimes different for different people, right? So I like you being rational, which is good, right? Do you have any other questions for me? No, no, I think that's, no that's great. I don't want to take any more. No problem, always a pleasure talking to you. Anytime, come back, same day, same time, if you have any questions. If you did find out something and you want to uh, confirmation, I can easily answer it. <laughs> You're not from here though, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Maybe you'll come another day. <laughs> you know, I have the email. Just email me. Okay. You have my email, yeah? Pleasure talking to you, man.